Hi, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to fix a washing machine's F1 error code. But first, what does the washing machine F1 error code mean? An F1 error code on a washing machine signifies a problem with the unit's control unit or wiring. This code typically appears when there is a problem sensing the water level or issues with the control board. The following are some of the common causes of a F1 error code. A faulty pressure switch. The pressure switch senses your washer's water level. If it fails, your machine may display an F1 error code. A defective control board. A defective control board could result from a short circuit, inadequate voltage, or damaged wires. If this part doesn't work, your machine can't regulate its speed, temperature, and pressure, and thus will display this error. Issues with the wiring. Here, you're looking at problems with the connectors and the appliance control unit. These result from damaged or loose wires and can affect the washing machine's ability to sense the water levels, thus displaying the F1 error code. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix this error. Inspect and replace the pressure switch. This device consists of a chamber at the bottom of the drum and a hose connecting it to the switch. As the machine fills up with water, air moves up the hose and activates the pressure switch when full. Unplug your washing machine and drain it. Remove the machine's cover and remove the pressure switch from the machine. Inspect the tube for blockages and damage. If not damaged, use a multimeter to inspect the pressure switch. If it's faulty, replace it with a new one. Inspect and replace the control board. Unplug the washing machine. Use a flathead or knife to remove the clasps, hinges, and panes near the control board. Take a photo of the connecting wires around the control board. Disconnect the wires connecting the control board to the rest of the machine. Remove the control board housing and remove the screws holding the control board in place. Unhouse the control board. Once done, look for signs of damage or use a multimeter to test the control board. If damaged, replace it with a new one by aligning it in the designated slot. Once done, connect the control board's wires and cables. Reconnect the hinges and clasps. Check the wiring. Unplug the washing machine. Use a flathead or knife to remove clasps, hinges, and panes near the control board. Take a photo of the connecting wires around your control board. Inspect the wires connecting the control board for damaged or loose wires. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.